the useful work is the work done to overcome gravity in order to bring the person to a higher ground so the work done in this case is equivalent to calculating the increase in the gravitational potential energy of the person so we can use the formula mgh and mg is your weight and so it's 600 newton multiply by the height which is 3 meter so we have 1800 joules of energy answer b this is a recall question so we just need to use the formula ke is equal to half m v square so we will get half times 0 0.3 times 20 square and we will get 60 joules of energy answer b okay in this question we are given the power which is 2.5 kilowatt so we change it to watt 2500 watt and the time taken is 3 minutes 3 minutes we change it to seconds we will get 3 times 60 which is 180 seconds so to calculate the energy we can use the formula power is equal to energy over time so energy is equal to power times time power is 2500 and the time taken is 180 so with this we should get 450000 joules answer d when the sunlight falls on the tire the temperature increases and mass refers to the number of air particles in the tire so even if it's subjected to a temperature rise the number of particles does not change so there will be no effect on the mass and as the air particles gain kinetic energy they will bombard the walls of the tire more frequently and violently hence the force exerted per unit area on the walls of the tire will increase and the pressure increases answer B okay when the gas in a closed vessel is heated the kinetic energy of the air molecules increases so C is wrong and since the volume is constant, the average separation of the molecule should remain the same. So B is wrong. And since now the air molecules they have more energy, they will bombard the they will bombard each other with greater force. So A is also wrong. And since the air molecules they are moving faster and more vigorously the rate of collisions of the molecules will increase that's why D is the answer